You hate your body, you hate your reflection in the mirror and you desperately want to be someone else. I get you, I see you, I was you, but I overcame it and it made me stronger. So if you want to finally love yourself, stay until the end of the video so that you know all tips. So my first tip is to appreciate all the things that your body does for you on a daily basis. Think about it, is it more important to be a size zero or to be able to do the things that you love, like running, dancing, jumping, doing whatever it is that you actually feel passionate about. When we put this into perspective, we start realizing that we need to be grateful about this and in my opinion, gratitude is the first step to having a better relationship with your body. So instead of hating on it, say thank you and really feel it. The second tip is to list all the things that you love and admire about your closest friends and family. I've never seen anyone love another person for her looks or her body. So the things you admire in others are probably the same things that others admire in you. So if the first things that come to your mind are not body related, it is very unlikely that the, the first things that come to someone else's mind when thinking about you are body related. So stop thinking about your worth in terms of physical appearance. The third tip is to repeat affirmations every time you start hearing those negative voices in your head. To really achieve self-love, we need to replace the negative thoughts with positive ones. So choose some powerful affirmations and start repeating them every time you start to tear yourself down. I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite self-love affirmations so that you can use them in order to be more confident in your body and accept it the way it is. So here are my favorite affirmations. The first one is I love my body and all it does for me. The second, I am worthy of love and I respect my own boundaries. I accept myself unconditionally. I let go of those who don't have my best interests at heart. I let go of my past, live in the present and am excited for the future. My life is full of endless opportunities for success and happiness. I am the creator of my own life and I am manifesting all of my dreams into reality. Try to repeat this at least once a day for a whole month and see how you feel afterwards and you slowly start believing it and actually feeling it. Tip number four is to wear clothes that make you feel comfortable in your own body. Fashion is definitely not a one-size-fits-all, but it's more related to body image than you may think. Maybe you have already noticed that when you wear a certain type of clothes, you feel more insecure or self-conscious. For instance, that happens to me when I wear very short bottoms because my biggest insecurity regarding my body is my hips. On the contrary, when I wear a cute romper, I feel more confident and relaxed. So that's just what works for me and you need to find what works for you. Stop working against your body and start working with it. The next tip is to start viewing media with a critical eye and also to start unfollowing toxic people. What we see on social media, magazines, TV or any type of media can be really detrimental for our mental health and self-worth, especially when we start comparing ourselves. I want you to start paying attention to what images, texts or people make you feel uncomfortable and make you feel down about yourself and your body. This is important because you might not be able to change what is portrayed in the media, but but you are able to make a choice about which content you consume daily. So by becoming aware of what's toxic for you, you can make a conscious decision to stop following the people, stop buying a magazine or turn off the TV and read a book instead. Tip number six is to create a list of the 10 things you most like about yourself and why. This should be 10 things that are not related whatsoever with physical appearance, not with the way you look or how much you weigh. So it could be something like I love my resilience because that makes me work harder towards my dream and every time I fall I, I just come back up and try again. So when you have the list start reading it often and keep adding to it once you start realizing more things that you like about yourself. So last but not least, my final tip for you is to do something nice for yourself every single day. Self-care is extremely important on a day-to-day -day basis. There are so many ways in which we can show our bodies that we love, respect and appreciate them, such as taking a bubble bath, doing a quick meditation or even some yoga. The important thing is not what you do, but that you actually feel good doing it or that you are going to feel good in the future by doing it now. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget forget to leave me a comment, a like and subscribe to the channel down below and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!